Alrighty boys, another discussion thread coming right at you and today we're going to have the topic that's been talked about a lot and also had a lot of dev answers. So um, I kind of want to clear stuff up for people about this topic and like what the devs are thinking and what the future holds in terms of castles and stuff like that. But the title is Recruit Noble Troops from Castles Only and then exclamation points. And we have a poll and 75% and say yes, no. Uh, 12, I mean, 14% say no, or 15%, whatever you want to uh, call it, out of 84 votes. Alrighty. So I'm going to see what people have to say. I'm going to give my opinion. I'm also going to give what the devs have to say. So I'm going to link this down below if you guys want to check it out for yourself, but let's read it. So the main poster said, others have said this, but it deserves its own topic. This would give another strategic advantage to castles. It would make them more useful and interesting. One notable per castle, maybe, thoughts. And then we have players saying, I agree. Yep, I think the castle notable and noble truce would be a good idea and not difficult to implement. Don't think it needs to be only. Would be interesting and unique and logical for castles to recruit owning cultural notables, not original culture, and perhaps owned by owning clan, not every passing party. Okay. All right. So before we keep diving into it, let, let's... Uh, Let's talk about what's happening in the game. So currently, um, a thing that was added very recently was the fact that notables that are in villages connected to castles, like if they're bound to the castle, they gain a power, uh, a daily power gain that villages connected to settlements do not receive. And why this is important and why this makes castles more important is because when a notable or a headman, which is pretty much like still still notable, when a notable reaches 200 power, they start spawning in um, uh, noble troops or elite troops, whatever you want to call them. That second troop tree that every single kingdom has that uh, has better troops in it. They start spawning those once they reach 200 power. And now with this daily... Um, what would you call it power gain that they receive if they are bound to a castle will pretty much secure all the notables around the villages to eventually reach 200 before everyone in the settlements reaches 200 and it will enable them all to provide you with noble troops and i think in my opinion this is way better than um the idea of having one notable in a castle because guess what Usually castles are bound to or, or three villages are bound to each castle on average, you know So in each village has like what three or four uh, notables sometimes two So if you really think about it If there's three villages and let's say on average they have three notables each That's nine different notables that will eventually become 200 power and will all spawn noble troops That's way better than one per castle because it's still connected to the castle. It's still the same mechanic that people want. It just, I don't know if people don't understand it that way. But that's one thing that is already added to the game. Now, the second thing they are uh, planning to add to the game as uh, time goes on. Okay, actually there's a couple of things that I had to kind of take a break and kind of, you know, find back out and uh, bring you guys this information. But there are a couple of things or four main things that are coming in the future when it comes to castles that will buff them up and make them a more secure location and something that you do want to get. So first, those 200 power notables that spawn more noble troops, they will pretty much um, increase how much they actually have. Let's say they have six recruitment slots. Now, like for now, usually the noble troops are going to spawn in the last three slots and the devs are thinking if they can spawn noble troops maybe they should spawn them in all six slots that they have starting from even the first one that any player or ai can um recruit from so that's the thing that they are thinking about they might did they say they definitely want to increase the amount of recruitment slots but it might not be all six that's one thing that will uh definitely uh buff the castle because like i said the castle the villages that are connected to the castle usually all the nobles will reach 200 power and have those noble troops and if there's more recruitment slots there's more noble troops that you can have therefore making the castle more um valuable in terms of getting troops next um i don't know if this is completely implemented now but they said in the very near future but it was kind of vague in a way but um ai will first try to take castles out 
or, or they'll, they'll try to take over castles first in an area before they take on the settlements. So they want to first have the security of having the castles that surround the settlement and then take the settlement. And why this is a good thing is because you can use your castles as a first defense. They're not going to go straight for your settlement or your town. They're going to take your castle on first. And this brings me to my third point. There are more projects coming uh, that will be added to provide better security and pretty much buff up the villages connected to the castles to make them harder to raid and also buff up the castle. And lastly, auto garrisons and um, auto garrison recruitment and wage sliders. So what this will do, this is in the, this is kind of in the far, far future, right? Uh, the, the auto garrison recruitment is, but the wage sliders are coming a little bit sooner. So what the auto rec uh, garrison recruitment is, uh, the dev said it has to be something low, but it could be something like one new troop will get added. I don't know if it's just for castles or for settlements, but this helps both. So I decided to include it, but you'll get something along the lines of one troop per day in your garrison. And with the wage slider, you can pretty much cap out on how much troops you actually want there in your castle. Right. And I think this will definitely in, uh, help out a lot. And this obviously with the projects being added to buff up the castles, the auto garrison recruitment, you'll have stronger castles. And then the fact that AI will target the castles first, it's a good defense measure. And also you can get some of the best troops, obviously um, with villages that are connected to the castle. So low key, slowly, we're really getting there. Um, I know people might, might think like, oh, it needs to be in the castle, it needs to be in the castle. But in true honesty, I think the fact that it's you know, in the villages bound to the castle, it's like the same thing. And it's actually better because there's more uh, chances and more uh, troops that you can recruit. But let's see what else people have to say. Uh, okay, so what are people saying here? Another way castles would be useful if they generate defensive scout patrols and s search the surrounding areas for bandits. Or nah, doesn't fit with the game really. Um, another very important thing missing would be awesome if the castle generated a patrol to keep bandits or small parties away from their attacked villages. So, um, for this, the projects are aimed to buff up villager parties and also villages. So they will actually pick up, they, they, they actually will, um, you know, not really be chased by bandits and stuff like that. And if they are, they will pick up a good fight. So that's kind of what they're aiming with that. Uh, let's see. An easier solution would be to take the troops out of the garrison, roaming around the fiefs. You could easily generate the cheesing by sending the AI to only send out mounted patrols. Yeah, patrols would be cool. I'm not gonna lie, patrols would be cool. Um, but the devs have not stated anything about that, unfortunately. It's easy to prevent such a thing from happening. Make a castle only generate a patrol once per season and stop generating patrols if the garrison falls between a certain number of troops. That's true, but also that's a lot of that's a lot of patrols. Well, I guess one patrol it might be fine. Again, I I kind of be cool, but I don't, I don't I don't think it's uh I don't think it's uh, needed. I uh, disagree. It's already a pain in behind to enough to recruit noble troops. They're fun to use, and add to the lore of each kingdom. And restricting them behind castles would prelude many role play possibilities. There are other ways to make castles matter, such as zones of control. Exactly, and that's exactly what they're trying to do with the whole AI will choose to take out the castles first in the area before the settlements. So that kind of plays on that factor. Uh, what does this guy say? Give castles some real meaning slash tactical advantage besides cheaper places to store troops. As I said, the AI will help with that. More projects will definitely help with that and whatever else they have in the future. Would help balance them against towns a bit provide you with more recruits and income. I think that auto garrison recruitment is what is going to help with that. Then we have all these efforts to add more noble troops to villages is just going to do the following, make it harder to recruit regular veteran troops. I may not need such want all noble troops in the last three thoughts, you know, wait, I think you don't understand what the change is. I'm confused. I, I, I read it a couple times, but also, lore sense would make more sense if the units would only be available at castles. Why would you, why would you be getting fiends, cataphracts, and humble little villages? 
uh, wouldn't these elite warriors need to be trained somewhere? That's why they're bound to the castle. You feel me? But again, lore-wise, I get it, but let's just make it make sense. You know what I mean? But, um... I don't know. I, I think it's better that they that they spawn at the villages instead of instead of the castle. Maybe I'm going crazy here. Maybe I'm I'm, I'm not understanding something. But I think, you know, I guess immersion wise, it doesn't make complete sense. But why would you want to have like one or two slots in the castle or three or four that spawn no, noble troops instead of like twelve if we count the three villages that are connected on average? Why would you want that? What wouldn't you want more of an opportunity? And he states that he wants it more of an opportunity. So I'm kind of confused, I guess. Uh, and the game is played with noble troops, and the whole how effect by finding them is gone. Yeah, I guess. But again, um, th this argument that like if if they make it too accessible to get noble troops, then you know it won't be as fun. In all reality, this th these changes that I've talked about, like the 200 power noblemen's. Um, and like the the castle daily gain, the castle power daily gain, it only increases uh, nobles that provide elite troops from like twenty two percent to like thirty three percent. So it's only a third still. It's not like fifty fifty. It's not. It's not getting those numbers. It's literally still a third of uh, notables will provide you with elite troops. So yeah. And uh, I think that will do it. I don't want to keep it too long of a discussion. But yeah, um, I think castles are going to be in a very good place in a couple of patches. Again, just to kind of reiterate my points, castles, I mean, uh, villages that are bound to castles, uh, the notables there have a daily power gain. And once they reach 200, they can uh, provide noble troops. The devs are thinking of increasing the amount of uh, noble troops in all the recruitment slots. Um, I don't know exactly if this is in the game yet, but AI will first try to take castles in an area before settlements. That's kind of stuff that they take into account. Then we have more projects are to be added to provide uh, better security and buffing uh, villages that are bound to the castle. And then we have auto garrison recruitment in the far, far future and wage sliders that we are going to receive very, very soon. So I think it's good. Uh, obviously, we're going to receive other stuff in there as well. You know, the devs like to tell us stuff but not tell us the whole thing surprise us with some new features and i do appreciate that as well so uh we'll see what's to come but personally i think the fact that there's more recruitment slots if if you just put the noble troops in the villages bound to uh the castle instead of the castle i think that's better in my opinion and it'll provide more of an opportunity to see noble troops in action so i think it's good and it's not like i said it's not too big of a rise it's only like one third it, once the once all the changes happen, it's only going to be one third of the notables will provide you with those. Uh, what do you call it? Those troops. So there it is. Uh, hopefully this was uh, informative. Ask me any questions, any concerns, and I will see you in the next one.